Hello friends and welcome back. Today we will discuss about the concept of privacy by design and privacy by default which are essential for ensuring data security from the very beginning of a product or service. Every project must be initiated with privacy and data protection in mind to minimize any associated risks. And these approaches to data privacy has been codified under the Article 25 General Data Protection Regulations also known as GDPR and their influence is also reflected in other data protection legislations around the globe as well. Privacy by design means integrating the protection of personal data from the design state of a system or service. This is a proactive approach which covers not only technology but also business practices and operational decisions. Suppose if any company is building a new messaging app, from the beginning the company will decide to build privacy into app's core functionality like encryption from end-to-end -end chat conversations, collecting minimum data and not storing or collecting information which is not required, and users control over data. And by integrating all these, company can build privacy protecting measures from the very start of the design. So what are the seven principles of privacy by design? Let's discuss each one by one. Proactive, not reactive. As we have already said, your approach should be to prevent problems and not to solve them later, right? Example, like a software company conducts regular privacy impact assessments before launching any new feature. Privacy as the default setting. Make sure that the default settings are always the ones that ensure the highest degree of privacy protection. For example, a mobile application that requires location data defaults to off and must be manually turned on by the user. Privacy embedded into design. Privacy considerations should be integrated into the design processes at all the stages. Full functionality, positive sum, not zero sum. Privacy protection should not come at the expense of functionality or usability. For example, an e-commerce platform uses data encryption to secure customer profiles while offering personalized recommendation based on the past purchases which you might have also noticed. End-to-end -end security. Privacy protections should extend throughout the entire life cycle of data, from collection to storage to uses and disposal. And transparency. Organizations should be transparent about their data practices and policies. Example, a company publishes a detailed privacy policy explaining how user data is collected, used, and protected. Respect for user privacy. Privacy by design should prioritize the interests and preferences of individual users. Users are provided with easy-to-use tools to control their personal information, preferences, and consents. What are the main requirements of privacy by design? So this includes data minimization, collect only the data which is strictly necessary for the service provided. Purpose limitation, use collected data only for the stated purposes and not for any other purpose. Built-in security, ensure that systems are designed with robust security measures to protect the data. Transparency. Be clear about how data are collected, used, and protected to be specified in a privacy policy. Proactive accountability. Organizations must be proactive in preventing privacy risks. Privacy by default approach requires organizations to implement the strictest available privacy-oriented settings by default. This is done to ensure data minimization, which means only such processing is carried out which is considered to be strictly necessary to achieve specified and lawful purposes. 
For example, a social media platform by default sets user profiles to be private and only visible to the user's contacts, requiring active user action to make their profile public. To ensure compliance with privacy by default, organizations should also adhere to the data protection principle of purpose limitation, which mandates that an organization should only collect and process such data which are relevant, adequate, and limited to specified and legitimate purposes, right? In order to successfully implement the privacy by default approach, organizations must ensure the following measures at minimum. Ensure the strictest privacy options are enabled by default. Must not process any additional data without the consent of users or having another lawful basis. Data retention period should be reasonable and proportionate to the purposes of the processing. Automatically delete or anonymize personal data once the purpose of the processing has been fulfilled. Provide users with sufficient control and transparency in relation to data processing activities. Avoid the use of dark patterns while obtaining consent from users. When designing cookie consent banners, it's crucial to ensure that users can make informed choices without feeling pressures or misled. So these were some of the measures to implement the approach of privacy by default. And these both the concepts are very important and should be incorporated at the time of design of any system. I hope you like this video and got to know something new today. Please share and subscribe with your friends. Consider joining me on LinkedIn. See you soon with another topic soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.